Let's take a look at uh, auto cabinets when you're first getting started with the program. This will be the main window when you come in to the router CAD window. What you want to do is locate the uh, auto cabinets icon, the little A with the little dot button beside it there. I'm going to bring this up. I'm working a reduced size window for the video, so this will open up. I'm just going to stretch this to cover up the router CAD window in the background. And again, if I wasn't working a reduced size screen, I could just click this option here and it would be full screen for you. Uh, when you first come into the program or the auto cabinets option, we'll click on the wall command. This brings up the wall uh, forms box. Here's our wall height, our depth, our thickness of our wall. So let's just say I want a wall uh, at 156. And I'm just going to type in that measurement. Uh, angle 0 is by default. If you click on the little angle button here. This will show you that the zero angle is just going straight across. That's the default uh, drawing angle, but you can change that to any angle you want it to be. I'm just going to select draw and click on the window, then click above that line to draw the wall. So um, over here, let's say we want to put a wall coming down from this. I'm just going to select or type in a distance of 36. Choose the angle button. Select 270. It fills in the 270 here. Select OK and draw. And then I'm going to select where I want that wall to be. And when I get close to that wall, the uh, box will snap box will come uh, will turn on. So I'm going to so if I wanted it over here, it would turn over here. If I wanted it in the center, or where I wanted to snap that wall to, but I want it to be here. So I'm going to click one time here, and then right click, and it's going to draw the wall for you. So now we have our simple wall layout done. Uh, we'll go to the library. And in the uh, library, I'm going to close this for a second and kind of an overview. The program comes with appliances, uh, ranges, refrigerators, a wide variety of, of appliances. But what I want to do first off is start out with a uh, windows and doors. And there's a wide variety of doors and windows uh, included with the, with the program. But let's just take a window, select this window that we want to start with. And go insert here. On this window, uh, we have some valuable information. It's 42 inches wide, it's uh, 59.187 tall, and it's 3 inches in depth. And it's also 42 inches off the floor. But what I really want to do with this window, because uh, these are all my default settings, I just want to center this window. I'm just going to select uh, center the window and go insert. So wherever I select, if I select the first point is here, and the second point is at the end of the wall. It's just going to center that window in the wall. So now we have a window centered in the wall. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library. And uh, we'll go to uh, a cab the cabinet portion. I'll take a uh, sink base. Let's variety of sink bases. But let's just take a, a sink base with no drawer, no false front above it. Uh, I'm just going to go uh, insert again. And here, I, I know I need 42 inches there, so I've got a couple options here. I can either just stretch the cabinet the size I want, come in top in, 42, which is what I think I want to do because I, I already know I need it to be 42 inches wide. I'm just going to top in 42. And also, I'm just going to tell I want it to be centered. So I can just select center. Now, I can choose the whole wall, or I can just come in and zoom in and say, okay, I want it to go from right there. To right there, and there I have it perfectly centered on the window. Uh, now I've got this portion done. Let's say I want to put a dishwasher, and I want a dishwasher right here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library. Uh, this time we'll go to appliances and take the dishwasher and go uh, insert. And I want the uh, dishwasher uh, to go to the right. I mean, I'm going to put it to the left but what I'm saying I want it to do is I want it to scoot all the way over to the right hand side or the second point I select I want the dishwasher to go to the right so when I select the insert here even if I come over here and select right there to right here and I'm just rolling my mouse wheel in and out there's the dishwasher 24 inches uh, right next to the uh, to the sink base uh, if I uh, want to come in now and put a uh, a cabinet right here. I'm going to go 
to the uh, library. I'll go back to uh, my base cabinets. Let's just say I take a, uh, a two-door, two two-drawer cabinet and go insert again. This time I like I like a little a filler next to this uh, dishwasher on here, so I have a little room uh, to fit the dishwasher in there. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to say one, I want it two inches from the left side of that wall which is where I went in that. I'm going to select distance on screen. I want the program to figure out the length of this cabinet, the size of this cabinet. I don't have to do that myself. And then I also want a filler uh, against the uh, against the dishwasher. So I've got uh, all those options selected. Uh, and that's one of the really powerful things about auto cabinets. I'm going to select insert. I'm just going to click here. And then I'm going to come over here and click the dishwasher. It's going to move it over those two inches, put a filler here next to the dishwasher and we've got this portion of the uh, of the layout done. We can zoom in and take a look at it and that's exactly what I wanted to have done. I'm going to go back to the plan view. Uh, let's say I want to put a drawer bank uh, here but also I want to know what the distance is there so I can kind of know what size drawer bank I want to put in. I'm just going to turn take the tape measure tool by selecting right here. Select one point and the other point and there's my uh, I got 57 inches there okay so I'm gonna go uh, back to the library and we're gonna go to drawer banks so I've got a variety of drawer banks uh, in here so I can just choose one or uh, since I know um, that's 57 inches I'm just gonna take like a 22 inch uh, drawer bank and then go insert here. Here I'm just going to take all the default settings and all I want to do uh, is just go ahead uh, and just snap it into position. Uh, <clears throat> now we'll go ahead and finish this this section off with a, um, a base cabinet with a filler against the wall here. So I'm going to go back to the library uh, we'll go back to just our standard base cabinets. I'll just select uh, any one of these base cabinets I want. Now here, all I, all I want to do here is tell it to select distance on screen. I want one cabinet, but I do want a filler, a uh, one-inch filler against the wall there. Uh, so I'm going to go insert. I'm just going to zoom in here, select here to there, and pop that in. And we have a uh, we have our base layout done already. Uh, so look at our split view. Here's our uh, here's our elevation view. Uh, this option here will give you just turn off that little toolbar there for a second. Uh, that's that's our layout. I'm I'm pleased with that. That's what I was looking to do. So now let's just put our upper cabinets here and here. We'll go back to the plan view. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library. And we'll take uh, our wall cabinets, and I'm just going to select these wall cabinet and select insert. Now here, what I want to do is basically, uh, I think I'll just put a couple of cabinets in there. I'm going to say select distance on screen. I want two cabinets, but I do want uh, five inches clearance for the crown mold on the left and the right because I'm going to put a wide crown up there. And I don't want it to hit the window and I don't want it to wrap around the wall. So I'm going to tell it uh, five inches left and right and I want two cabinets to go in there. So I'm going to select the insert here. Then I'm just going to come back and select the end of the wall and the uh, uh, edge of the window. And now I have five inches clearance between uh, between that window and the edge of the wall. I'm going to uh, do the same thing. Well, sort of the same thing. I'm going to click the library again. Uh, I'll take uh, another one of the cabinets here. Insert that. Uh, again, I want select distance on screen. I do want two cabinets, but this time on the left I want five inches because I want that's next to the window from the left side. I want five inches clearance next to this window that's going to be over here, and I do want a one-inch filler against that wall. So when I select insert, I want to select where I want it to go.
and uh, the window or excuse me <laughs> next to the wall so if we look at our elevation view here real quick uh, it's one way to look at our elevation here's another way uh, is to see this is if this is what I want I'm pretty much satisfied with that now really all I need to do here is uh, run the countertops and put the crown mold on so we'll go back to the plan view uh, I'm going to click the top option here in the dialog box here like I've told it I want one inch overhang from the start zero from the end so it's just going to go right into that wall and uh, offset bottom is uh, 34 and a half inches and I've also got the depth which is grayed out here at 25 inches but when I select draw and select and start at the end of those cabinets into this wall now this if I wanted to change the depth I could change the depth right now but I'm going to accept the 25 inches and select OK and there's our top. Uh, we'll put the backsplash on. Here. To there. Uh, four inches high is fine with me. I'm going to accept that and just select OK. And now we have our backsplash drawn. And the only thing I really need to do now uh, is to... Uh, finish off uh, the crown mold. So I'm going to select molding and we'll take the default crown but if I select the uh, molding button here I can navigate to the moldings and select uh, any type of a crown or anything like that that I want uh, various uh, base moldings and stuff like that all come preloaded in the program so you can just choose whichever one you you want to run. I'll select this one and insert it. So there's our crown mold. Now all I need to do is just uh, have the default bottom offset set to 96 inches which is the top of the cabinets. I'm going to select draw here and then I'm going to come in and select my path around the cabinets. Right click and then click in front of them and there's our uh, there's our molding around those cabinets. Now here on these cabinets I'm just going to do just trace where I want the molding to run. I'm going to select molding again or excuse me select draw. Select where I want it to start where I want it to end. And then just click in the front of it and it'll add the molding for me. So now I'm going to close this off look at an elevation view so there's your crown mold there's your window uh, dishwasher a typical layout for you and that's just to give you some idea of some of the tools to use when you're first getting started uh, with auto cabinets uh, again thank you for this opportunity